Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today on my channel we are doing another Nordstrom try on video. This is a little bit smaller. This is more the items that are kind of trickling in now after my original few orders. Nordstrom does this thing where they ship the main things, big orders from a warehouse. And then if an item's in store, they'll kind of trickle those items out in separate boxes. So these all kind of came separately. I do have one more set of items coming that will come up again next week if you're interested in seeing those. I'm not gonna sit here and talk a whole lot about all of this. If you are new around here, I would love if you subscribed and followed along here on my channel. And if you want instant updates on what is restocked, what is in stock and what is available, go follow me over on Instagram. So let's start. The first thing I did pick up was from Orbe. It's called the Magic Duo. It is a $96 value for $64. This is their dry shampoo and their texturizing spray. I tried their texturizing spray years ago. I don't really remember. I didn't repurchase it that I remember doing. So I'm excited to try the dry shampoo version and the texturizing spray together. Next up is this little jewelry box. I always pick one piece out from this collection. It's Anna Beck. I love her pieces. They are great mixed metal pieces. This piece, not sure if I'm going to keep it because I thought the actual disc was going to be larger. So this is on a silver chain. It is sizable, but the disc itself is much smaller than I anticipated. Um, I've had my eye on a David Yurman one that is similar, a disc, um, and I have a good amount of their jewelry and I like it. So I think this one may be going back. I do have a ring from their line and a pair of earrings that I both love. That one just isn't speaking to me and it's over the $100 price point. So it's just not an item that I think I'm going to get enough wear and use out of. So now let's jump right into trying these things out. They're starting this try on out, the jeans are the jeans that I showed in my very first like items that I already owned that they had on the sale this year video. I'll have the link for that somewhere around here or down below. These jeans are Good American Good Legs. They have a similar, the same cut, but in a similar color. It's a little bit darker for this year. Not sure if they're still in stock or not. And then I'm gonna move on to this top. This top is beautiful. It's not too high on the neck. It's super comfortable, not itchy at all. Has a great little kind of like bow tie detail here. It has two buttons in the back with like a little bit of a keyhole underneath of it. It is a good length. It has side slits to it. I have this in a size large. I love this top. This is such a great piece. It'll be so versatile for the fall and winter. You can wear it with a blazer, with a cardigan, anything. Then these booties. So I got these booties in. They're from a brand called like Bokir, I think it is. I got them in a size nine. They fit perfectly. There is a similar pair from Jessica Simpson that are less expensive on the sale, um, but I liked the heel height on this one. But then when I got it in, I'm not sure about the heel like it sits a little weird. It's like wide kind of funny. And then the color isn't as like rich of a color as I had expected. And these are not super cheap. Like these are pretty expensive for a pair of boots for the sale price even. I like the look of them, but I just don't think I would get enough wear out of them. I pictured it kind of like this, wearing it with a skinny jean, but I'm just not loving this whole look that way. So I don't think I'm gonna be keeping these. Next up, I kept on the same top and the same jeans. I did roll the jeans up. They are a longer jean, but I rolled them up for this. So we'll just start down at the bottom. These booties are by a brand called Soft, S-O-F-F-T. I bought them in a size nine. I totally need an eight and a half in these. They come in a red color and they come in this black color. If they were in like a caramel color, like those other ones that I had on, I think I would love them even more. I don't always grab for black booties and every time I buy them, I say to myself, I need to stop buying black booties. But I loved the silver detailing on this and I thought this was a great casual booty. So I'm very torn about these. I'm gonna try them on with a couple other things throughout the day and see if I like them and if I'm going to be keeping them, but you guys will see here whether I kept them or got rid of them. Then this sweater, this sweater is from BB Dakota with Steve Madden. It is in a size large. It's very, very lightweight. You could wear it right now at this time of year. It is super, super stretchy, very cozy. It has pockets. It is long and goes longer. And here's the kicker. The back is a totally different color. 
All of the sweater, however, has this kind of like speckled heather look. It's very cute, very comfy. This is definitely an easy grab. I could have sized down to a medium. I like my cardigans to be oversized. I know a couple of you on the last couple of videos said that I like things a little bit too big for my body type, but this is what I am comfortable in and that's what's important. So I just really think this is a fun, cute sweater. Next up, I got this top in from Castellan. I usually love Castellan tops. It is in a size large. It has this great little seaming here. It is nicely made. It's not like super thin thermal. You know how some of them are. It's a nice thick thermal, but this, I, this is just, I, I can't even, this just draws attention right here and makes me look hippie and crazy. I just don't like this at all. If I do a little bit of a front, double front tuck like that, it's okay it's fine but i just this top is not for me this one is going back next is a pair of the on cloud flow sneakers these are the pink ones they also had like three other colors in a different style the other style is what i had previously from last year that i showed you guys in the first nordstrom try on video of items that i bought last year or i had had these ones when i got them in over on my instagram live i was like mm, I don't know, am I gonna like them? Do I need them? I love them. They're a totally different tying system. You don't have to tie them. They are so comfortable. I mean, I love my other ones, but these, I would wear these out with something like this. I am in love with these. I'm so glad I got them. While we're here, I am going to put on the jacket that I got. I was so excited. This is from Via Spaga in a size large. Look at the inside of that, guys. This is beautiful so well made around a hundred and something dollars so this is just stunning it has a puffer hood to it it has a puffer inside so you can zip just the inside and have it like this okay pockets are buttoned or you can flap them in oh my god i'm in love with this or i can zip this all the way or you can button it you can also take these ties and you can taper it. Oops, shouldn't have buttoned it. I should have zipped it first. You can actually make it so it's tighter around the waist and cinched in and not this. There are so many ways. This is just so expensive looking for under $200. You cannot go wrong with this coat. It is gorgeous. Like the detailing in this is just absolutely beautiful. I am so glad I picked this up. My neighbor picked one of these up too. It is just, this looks so expensive, guys. Real quick, before I change out of a more athletic look, I wanted to show you this hat. It's a trucker hat. It is so cute. It says Queen Bee on it. It is so cute. It is well made. It sits a little bit higher than your more traditional baseball hat, but I really love this. This one feels like a good, stable, well-made hat. Next up are these PJs from a brand called Honeydew. I got them in a size large. They're just not speaking to me. They don't have pockets, which is fine. The shirt is a little bit of a weird length. I like it to be a little bit longer. I don't know. I just, this is just not speaking to me for some reason. I really, they're nice and soft and stretchy and comfy. They're just, something about it is not me. Start with this sweater. You saw me, this is another item that I've owned previously. This is the one for this year. This one is a thicker version. This is the Nordstrom cashmere might be cashmere wool i'm not sure long line sweater the one i have is a longer one actually than this the old one i had that was in gray uh, but this one is actually it feels more weighted it's really nice it has pockets to it it is so well made it doesn't have any slits in the side i know that's hard to tell because i have on black pants but it is absolutely stunning. It is a little bit more of a splurge item. I did get this in a size large and I absolutely love it. I thought to myself when I returned that long gray cable knit one, I was like, then I will get the black one in this. And I'm so glad I did. Next item I'm gonna talk about are these pants. And actually I'll take the sweater off to talk about this. These pants are the Spanx Skinny Point dress pants I think they're called these are amazing guys I get the hype I had heard people talk about this for so long and I was like I don't get it what's the hype with this now that I have them and I tried them on 
I get it. I'm not a dress pant person, but if you go to work or go to somewhere that is more business attire, oh my gosh, this is like wearing leggings, but they're pants. They're super slimming. They're high-waisted, so my belly button is right down there, okay? It has a thicker wide band through here. It does have faux pockets. It has a faux pocket in the back, actually two of them. They are super, super comfortable. Also in the back, I'm going to show you real quick, it has this cute little cutout. I don't know if you can see that. Here, let's do it this way. Can you see the little V in the back of it? They just go to your ankle. As I might have mentioned, these are a size large. They are absolutely beautiful. So it looked a little disheveled with just the t-shirt on, but I wanted to throw the sweater back on. Now let's talk about the shoes. These shoes are from Schultz. I got them in a size eight and a half. No, I got them in a size nine. And I'm glad I did. I'm typically an eight and a half in this type of shoe. So I have the Dolce Vita in the more cream colored. I love them. I wear them all the time this summer. It's been nonstop. I love a pop of color in a shoe. Even this whole outfit with just that little pop. These are more rounded toed, but they are that same type of look as the two braiding pieces going across. These are ridiculously comfortable. I think these were sold out. I will have the information over to the side, but they are absolutely just great piece to have. And they'll be an awesome piece to even wear into the fall. I've heard so many people rave about this. It's called the True & Co Bra. I don't know, they have a bunch of different ones. This one that I chose to give a try to, has a padding inside of it and a slit where the pad goes in and out of. There's no underwire to this. It is super stretchy. There are no clasps in the back. The strap is actually a different material than the bra itself. I'll give it a try. I am a 36C, 34D, and no underwire makes me nervous. So we will see. I will keep you guys posted over on my Instagram on what my thoughts are. First, I'm going to start out with these jeans. This is the Good American, and it's like the Good Classic jean in the size 10, 30, which is what I always am. <laughs> Luckily, I had a bodysuit to try it on with. This is what they look like. I didn't even put shoes on. I just wanted to show you guys. These are going back. They run very small. I mean, even a 31, I would wonder if that would make a difference. So these are going back. They are not the right length anyway. I would have to cut them. Going back, guys. Okay, I changed into the original pair of Good American jeans that I was debating between the two on. Um, the whole reason I wasn't sure about these was the length. I will post what these ones are called because honestly, I have no idea. They are in the size 10. They fit much better. All right, I actually put booties on. So these I am in love with, guys. So I already had these earlier in the sale in this gray slate color. And if you get one thing from the sale, guys, these booties are amazing. They also have them in a gorgeous, gorgeous, like cognac rust color, but I already have a pair that is pretty much that color. So I couldn't validate that, but I'm so excited about these white, kind of more of a Western look type ones for fall. Very, very cute and very comfy. I did fold up the jeans, if you can see. So this is the length of the jeans, but I will probably cut them to right about where you're seeing this leg. Next is this bodysuit. It's from a brand called Waif, right? Waif, yes. And it is in a size large. It has shoulder pads in it. Shoulder pads work well for me. It gives me good structure. I will say that some of the first set of shirts that I had gotten in and tried on were what they call the drop shoulder. When I watched the videos back, I realized they have that shoulder that kind of the seaming goes down to here, which on me looks very frumpy. This is more what I need, something more structured. This is a crew neck. I will say in the back, it is not full coverage, but it is not a thong. It's kind of in between. So it does move around a little bit, but it's super, super, super comfortable. A great little piece. Throw a blazer on with this and you're good to go. Not going to do, actually, you know what? I will throw on this. It's Thread and Supply. It is their shacket, so shirt, jacket. This thing is heavy, guys. This is not a shirt that is also made into a jacket. This is more of almost like a jacket. It is super, super, super heavy. Um, it has pockets to it. This is the size large. Now, I do have a size medium coming in as well. Go follow me over on Instagram, and you'll see when I get that in. I'll try it on. But this is what this looks like. It's a great length. It is super cozy. I did not think I was going to like this, but this actually, actually, I like this whole look. 
This is definitely a keeper, so I am excited about this little shirt jacket. I'm just not sure which size I'll be keeping because it's kind of big in through here is the problem. So we'll see on that one. I'm not gonna talk a lot about this one, but this is the Madewell sweater. I had originally gotten it in a size large. This is a size medium. This cut has so much stretch. This color has been sold out. However, the other three colors have been in stock when I look, but it's been kind of like keep an eye out for restock, so be aware. This next top, I did not think I was gonna like it when I pulled it out of the packaging. It is from Vince Camuto. I love his tops for that more workwear look, but you can also do it for date night. They have nice little twists to them. This color I think was called, I forget what it was called, but it's more of like a creamy color. It's not true white. I like the V-neck to it. I love, love, love this sleeve detail. It is in a size large. It comes in a ton of colors. It is so, so, so cute. I didn't like it when I first put it on. Then I did a little bit of a tuck here and I absolutely love it. The length of it, it is nice. It flows away from the body. If you want something that flows away a little bit more, kind of goes high, low around the back. It looks super cute with these booties. It's very, very nicely made. His tops are an item that every single year during the anniversary sale, I pick them up. I didn't get this one in black because I do have enough black tops actually from him this year. I thought this was gonna be more white and at first I was like, oh, I don't like this, but I actually really do. It'll look great with a blazer or something else and even with these boots. They're almost the exact color as these boots. Next up is this top. It is from Treasure and Bond, I'm pretty sure. This is a size medium. I went down a size in this one. It was just too big in through here. It's a ribbed kind of like Henley material. The only thing I have a concern with is the sleeves right now sit right where I want them. If I wash it and it shrinks, are they gonna be too short? I don't know. It has a ton of stretch to it. It goes a little bit high, low, as you can see here, but this is a great piece. Definitely go down a size because the medium is what works better for me in this. Now, as you've seen, I've mentioned a couple things that I'm getting new sizes in. I will link down below my previous Nordstrom anniversary try on videos you can go see. I think this was in the first one. I'll put both of them down there for you so you can check it out. This is the free people sweater that everybody is going crazy over with the sale. It's called the swimmer something. I don't know what this has to do with swimming, but whatever. This is what I mean by free people is hit or miss with me. I wanted to love this. It looks so soft and cozy and really is. This is a size medium and I get it's supposed to be oversized, but I could get away with all of this. This, I, I just can't even. Like, if I fold it down, it doesn't look like it's supposed to be folded down. When it's up, it's in my way. It's annoying. Like, it's at a, it like sits funny. I just, this is just, it doesn't work for me. There was one I had from Amazon last year that I like way better. And I think I got one from Aerie a couple years ago that just are better suited to me. Now, I will say, if you like this and want this, this color is stunning. It's not white, it's not cream, it has a little bit of a pink undertone to it. It is a gorgeous color, it's just, this, I just don't understand it. Okay, this is the BGD like flannel. I got this back in a size medium. I had had it in a size large, it was just way, way too big on me. I got this in a size medium. I absolutely love it, it is super cozy. The sleeves can roll up nice. It is more of a tunic style. You can do a little front tuck over here and kind of make it look a little bit like this. You could wear it so many different ways. I am glad I got this in a size medium. Next up is this top. I wanted to love this top. The sleeve is just stunning. This is so well made. This is a splurge item, but here is why I won't wear it or grab for it, and I know this. A, the length just makes me feel uncomfortable. I feel like I'd be tugging at it even if I had on a higher, wa higher waisted pair of jeans than these ones. Uh, this makes me look very hippie. There is no anything. Like, it just doesn't work on my body type. The crew neck is very nice. It's great material, super stretchy, but I would be like tugging at it the whole time. And that's not the purpose of this, especially with that cost. It is not inexpensive. I mean, just the sleeves are gorgeous. If you are someone that doesn't mind this length of a top, this is just, it is a beautiful, beautiful piece. 
rounding it up and this should be it any items that trickle in after this you will be seeing over on my instagram both on live and on stories trying them on whether they are new sizes or a few items i got in eh, you never know let me know down in the comments if you would like to see maybe one more video next week that might have some straggling items in. It won't be as many as today. First item I wanna talk about here is this hat. And this hat is from a brand called All Saints. I have been looking for an all black, all material hat for so long and I absolutely love this hat. It's a perfect piece because I can throw it on no matter what I'm wearing. There's no logos, no print, no anything to interfere. I am so glad I found this. Then this top, this top is from Castellon. This is actually a hooded ribbed sweatshirt. It has beautiful detailing with the seaming going down the front and then the pieces, the ribbing actually going out and away. It is hooded as I mentioned and you can see it has a side slit. This piece is one of those pieces that I am so glad I picked up. It is so expensive looking. It is one of my favorite pieces from the sale this year. It's just gonna be so easy to wear. I can wear a blazer over it. I can wear things under it. I can wear it with leggings. There's so many different ways you can wear this and it comes in a bunch of colors. So that is all for today. Those are all of the try-ons that I have now. I will have another try-on coming up next week. And then I was thinking of doing a video maybe about the in-stock items and ways I would style them. Let me know in the comments if that is something that you would be interested in. So if you have any questions about anything I showed here, tried on, or anything I can help you with having to do with the Nordstrom anniversary sale, I am here for you. If you are new around here, I would love if you subscribed and followed along with my channel. And don't forget, if you want up-to-date restock alerts on any of these items, go follow me over on Instagram. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching and have a great day.